Welcome to Ute Light's presentation entitled Design Flexibility Using Lightweight Expanded Shell Clay and Slate Aggregates in Landscape Design. My name is Scott Jensen and I am the Horticulture and Landscape Products Manager at Ute Light Corporation. I would like to thank you for taking time to participate in this presentation. This course is registered with AIA for continuing education. Certificates of completion for both AIA members and non-members are available upon request. This course will discuss the application of expanded shell, clay and slate, also known as ESCS, lightweight aggregates in green roof design, stormwater management, structural soil for trees and turf, engineered soils for challenging sites, as well as provide an overview of the historical and current design trends using ESCS aggregates. Through this course, we will discuss the lightweight aggregate manufacturing process and the types of aggregates available. Discuss the characteristics and properties of ESCS aggregates as they relate to several design applications. Provide information regarding the historical uses of ESCS aggregates and discuss the current uses of ESCS aggregates in landscape design, as well as evaluate several sustainable trends and the role of ESCS aggregates currently playing in those design applications. Lightweight expanded shell clay and slate aggregates are manufactured by heating select shell, clay, or slate at high temperatures in rotary kilns until it expands and vitrifies. This controlled process creates lightweight, high strength, porous, ceramic aggregates that have consistent and dependable properties. These lightweight ESCS aggregates are commonly used in applications ranging from structural lightweight concrete and masonry units to rooftop gardens and stormwater management. ESCS aggregates are approximately one half the weight of normal rock, sand, or soil. That's an important property when engineering a soil for a rooftop garden or structural planting. These aggregates are structurally strong, having a long history of use in industrial applications. Having been heated at high temperatures, the aggregates are made up of vitrified ceramic particles that don't degrade, decompose, or break down over time, even in harsh weather environments. These particles are porous, consisting of a non-interconnected void system. Even when fully saturated, there are pockets of air within the particle ensuring a proper balance of air and water in the soil profile. ESCS aggregates are absorptive, retaining water and waterborne nutrients, which are then readily available to the roots and plants. The aggregates are manufactured in a controlled location according to industry standards. Having consistent, predictable, and dependable properties gives engineers and designers added confidence when designing with lightweight expanded shell clay and slate aggregates. ESCS aggregates are available in several different sizes or gradations. The three most common grades are fines, mediums, and coarse. The proper grade to use is determined by the design criteria or the project requirements. Industry experts can also help determine which ESCS aggregate grade is best suited for a particular design. The ESCS aggregate industry first began in the early 1900s after a brick producer by the name of Stephen J. Hayde observed that certain shell and clay materials expanded when heated to high temperatures. He realized the benefits of a lightweight aggregate and was granted a patent. He began selling the new lightweight aggregates as Haydite. Some of the first applications were concrete ships. After World War II, the use of lightweight aggregates became more widespread as bridges and high-rise buildings began being built using structural lightweight concrete. ESCS aggregates continue to have a large and important role in commercial and residential construction. One such market is masonry. By using a lighter weight masonry block, savings are realized through reduced transportation costs, reduced insulation costs, and fewer ergonomic issues. In roof tile, the lightweight aggregates provide longer service life, easier installation and repair, along with a higher fire rating. Stone veneers made of lightweight aggregates require no footings, foundation, or structural supports when used on a solid surface. They provide the genuine look and feel of natural stone. 
Roads chip sealed with ESCS aggregates don't strip or peel, offer a higher skid resistance, don't damage windshields and paint, provide a better bond with the emulsion, cost less to transport, and ultimately ensure a longer interval in between applications. As it was early on, structural lightweight concrete continues to be a big market for ESCS aggregates. Building with structural lightweight concrete reduces dead loads, improves seismic structural response, allows longer spans, and provides better fire ratings in thinner sections. It can help decrease story heights, allow smaller size structural members, reduce reinforcing still, and lower foundation costs. Internal curing, or curing the concrete from the inside out, uses pre-wetted aggregate to supply curing water throughout the concrete mixture. Internal curing improves mechanical and chemical bonds, reduces cracking, reduces corrosion, and reduces chloride ingress for a longer service life. ESCS aggregates can provide important benefits when used as a lightweight backfill. Dead loads and lateral forces can be reduced by half. They have a high internal friction angle, have consistent controlled grading, are free draining, water insoluble, offer high insulative values, and are high strength. These properties make ESCS an excellent choice for waterfront structures, landscape and elevated plaza fills, bulkheads and retaining walls, fill over poor soil and marshlands, insulating backfill, shallow foundations, enveloping underground conduits and pipelines, and landfill leachate drainage systems. ESCS aggregates are commonly used in many landscape-related design applications. Many designers are familiar with their widespread use in green roofs and rooftop gardens, but we will also discuss their role in amending native soils, root zone soils for sports fields, creating structural soils for trees and drivable grass, and soils for managing stormwater. Lightweight aggregates have a long history of success in their use as lightweight planting media for green roofs. A media consisting of ESCS aggregates supports all the plant's growth and establishment requirements for the duration of the green roof. An added benefit is the filtration and treatment properties of the aggregate providing an additional tool for managing rain and stormwater. Designers can depend on the media's predictable performance and have confidence it will not degrade or shrink in volume over time, nor will it float or blow off the roof. Green roofs are divided into different types. An extensive green roof has a shallow media depth of 6 inches or less, usually has a limited plant detail consisting of low-maintenance, hardy-type plants such as sedums. This type of green roof usually has limited public access and is designed to be lower maintenance green roofs that provide environmental or specific benefits. Planting media for this type of green roof is granular, allowing rapid drainage, and is made up of 70% or more of lightweight aggregate with the remaining being organic matter and other soil components such as sand. An intensive green roof has deeper soil depths ranging from at least 6 inches to possibly several feet. These types of green roofs can be very complex with a wide variety of plant species and possibly include added amenities such as water features. They usually provide open access and can be located at the roof level or at ground level such as plazas over a parking garage. The lightweight aggregate significantly reduces the weight load associated with such a complex design. As with extensive green roofs, a media with ESCS will be longer lasting and ensure a suitable growing environment for the duration of the green roof. Rooftop gardens often consist of rooftop planters with a wide variety of landscape plants. Soil requirements for rooftop planters are similar to those of extensive and intensive green roofs. The soil needs to be lighter in weight, long lasting, well draining, and capable of supporting plants growing in a confined space. Additionally, a lightweight planting media with ESCS will reduce the wear on the planters in extreme weather environments. Structural plantings are usually large landscape areas over a structure such as a subterranean parking garage. These types of designs also have unique soil requirements. They often receive intense public access and include added landscape features such as a water fountain. ESCS can significantly reduce the soil weights allowing these additional landscape elements as well as a broader plant detail. The soil media for structural plantings is very similar to that used in rooftop planters and intensive green roofs. 
Raised planters or large containers planted with natural soil can become extremely dense and compacted over time, especially in environments with temperature extremes. Potting soil in these types of plantings require replenishment. Using a soil amendment with ESCS aggregates will prevent compaction associated with natural soil and provide a loose, lightweight root zone common with potting soils. Native soils can be effectively amended with ESCS aggregates to improve its physical properties. A soil amended with ESCS will have better flow of air, water, and nutrients. It will have much better resistance to compaction, allowing water to more easily infiltrate and encouraging roots to grow deeper. An amended soil provides an optimum root development zone for plant establishment. As an amendment, ESCS provides long-lasting, essentially permanent, benefits as it will not degrade, break down, float, or wash away. ESCS aggregates are combined with other soil components to create specialized soil mixes or root zone soils for sports fields. These specialized soils are required for optimal playing surfaces and to assure players' safety. A root zone soil consisting of ESCS provides an optimal root development zone and root establishment zone. It protects the root zone from overcompaction. It encourages quicker recovery after use, lessening downtime between events. Most importantly, it promotes healthy grass capable of providing a safe playing surface. Common applications for ESCS amended root zones include ball fields, such as football and soccer fields, lacrosse fields, baseball and softball fields, golf course, and other athletic purposed fields. Structural soils are becoming commonplace for trees planted in heavily urbanized areas. These soils are engineered to support the weight of pavements or pavers, as well as support root development. More often than not, the soils in which these trees are planted in are highly compacted road-based type soils not suited to long-term tree establishment. Trees planted in these conditions have a short lifespan and can cause other problems such as pavement upheave. Structural soils were developed as an alternative soil that can meet compaction requirements but still maintain a growing environment favoring long-term tree establishment. Structural soils support the pavement with a load-bearing lattice system. The support and stability comes from the aggregate to aggregate contacts. The open void allows proper flow of air and water as well as provides space for roots to grow. Natural topsoils blended with the aggregate to provide additional nutrient and moisture, moisture retention. Blended structural soils are placed under sidewalks or parking lots to accommodate the tree's expanding root systems. Like structural soils for trees, soils for turf can be engineered to withstand the loading associated with vehicular traffic. This is accomplished by blending ESCS aggregates with other soil components such as sand and compost. Turf structural soils can be used in conjunction with or in place of alternative pavement products. They will limit the compaction from vehicles during temporary event parking and maintain a proper root zone allowing the grass to quickly recover once the event is completed. ESCS turf structural soils are engineered to bear the weight loading associated with fire trucks, making it a logical and economical choice for green fire access lanes. Given its lightweight, porous properties, ESCS is a logical solution as a structurally engineered fill to bridge the gap between an existing tree's sensitive root system and the placement of a new pavement. Having excellent insulative and drainage characteristics make it a practical and economical structural fill material. Stormwater management practices are becoming increasingly important and ESCS aggregates play an important role in their successful outcome. Bioswells, vegetated wetlands, Filter strips, rain gardens are just some of the applications where ESCS aggregates can contribute important benefits. Using different sizes of ESCS aggregates and other soil components, specialized bioretention media is engineered to achieve goals outlined in the stormwater management plan. ESCS aggregates are consistent and dependable, are physically and chemically inert, have a much greater surface area, and a higher hydraulic conductivity allowing faster flow. They have limited degradation as well as a high angle of internal friction to provide stability and strength. ESCS aggregates provide predictable performance giving the designer confidence that the design will function as intended. Additionally, the aggregates can provide beneficial filtration properties capable of removing or reducing phosphorus, arsenic, metals, grease, oils, 
TSS, and more. Stormwater management systems with ESCS aggregates have lower maintenance costs and longer service lives. The aggregates are readily available and easily incorporated into existing stormwater designs, providing an economical, long-term solution. ESCS aggregates give the designer flexibility in addressing specific areas of concern regarding stormwater. For example, the placement of ESCS beneath a porous pavement provides the required infiltration but has the added value of treatment. Additionally, the placement of ESCS aggregates along the bank of a waterway can protect it from runoff pollutants and prevent stream bank erosion. Expanded shell clay and slate aggregates are used on a wide variety of applications and can provide numerous benefits. Thank you for taking time to participate in this presentation and visiting our website. For additional information, you can visit the Expanded Shale Clay and Slate Institute at ESCSI.org. You can also contact me directly using the contact information listed on the screen.